These 5 inch resistive touchscreens with HDMI input have become quite popular on eBay past year or so, and they are so cheap that they are cheap, small and high resolution, whereas before you could only get two of those features. If I select one random eBay listing, here you can see the adapter that comes with the display. With that you can use the display with Raspberry Pi without using cable, so that makes the package quite neat. But as it is HDMI, you can connect the display to your PC, for example, like I have done here. When you use this with Raspberry Pi, the GPIO header will be used for power and touchscreen interfacing. But you can power this from micro USB port and use the HDMI cable to connect to whatever device you want. The GPIO header can be left unconnected. Picture-wise I like this display, it has nice resolution, colors are not that accurate but they are okay. There's only manual switch for the backlight and it has to be switched off manually if you don't disconnect the power after you have done using the display. Here I have the display, I have connected the micro USB to provide the power and HDMI cable to get the video signal from my PC. Like you can see there's no picture on the screen and the backlight is off. The PC is on but the display is on sleep mode. If I wake up the display of my laptop you can see that the mini display will also show the picture and backlight will come on. So there's automatic backlight control in this display now. Figuring out this modification was quite simple thanks to the simple circuit. There's the backlight controller IC which is a boost converter and there's the Texas Instruments IC which will convert HDMI to RGB TTL signals for the LCD. Backlight driver has enabled pin but it has been connected to VCC by default. Texas Instruments chip has a signal detect output which I have connected to the enable pin of the backlight driver. So when there is HDMI signal which the Texas Instruments IC detects, it will turn on the backlight. I also connect the signal detect pin to the output driver enable pin so that the chip won't be driving the LCD when there is no HDMI signal. You wouldn't see anything because the backlight will be off, but this is just to maybe save some power. Even with this modification you can use the original backlight switch to force the backlight off, for example if you like to keep the device on at night.